I'm Dieter Hockula, I'm an academic from the School of Life and Environmental Sciences. I use a campus for my research and teaching. We've studied some of the animals that live on campus to try and look at how they adapt to living in what's a pretty hostile ecosystem for natural animals, looking at the spiders and even some of the birds that are on campus and the native bees. That, that, that filters into my teaching too, which is research led and tries to really help people engage with the nature on campus. One of the benefits of developing a, a living lab on campus is it's going to create a real opportunity for a, the people that use the, the university, our, our university community, to engage with nature on campus. And one of the great things about that is we know that those connections to nature can really enhance um, the well-being of the people that are here. My name is Mark Moella, I'm the Head of Open Spaces at Central Operations Services. We have a, a tree management plan which we updated late 2019 uh, and that provides a framework for all aspects of tree management across campus. Uh, it looks at things like tree canopy cover, we have canopy cover targets of 30% by 2030, providing guidance. So we have some issues with regards to species diversity, we have 49% of our trees on campus are all from the one family, so one of our, our goals is to get that down to 30%. By the end of 2020 we would have planted over 200 trees on campus, which is a very significant result. So that, that's going to go a long way to help supporting that 30% uh, by 2030. We've also just an evaluation of our trees on the Camperdown campus. There's a thousand trees on the Camperdown campus, so we did an evaluation using the, the City of Melbourne method, and the valuation come back at $25 million for those trees. Having a valuation on trees recognises them as an asset, so the average tree value was about $25,000. Our most expensive tree was $300,000, a large Morton Bay fig behind the Maclay building. So, not just the, the, the dollar value, but obviously the environmental benefits that trees do bring to the campus will support the, the living lab concept. Dieter and I were on the uh, landscape and biodiversity working group. That was the first time we met and I thought it was quite a good experience. I, one of the things I realised was that Dieter was doing a lot of things uh, that I was not aware of and I think vice versa. We had uh, ecological studies and our tree management plan so it was a, it was a good opportunity to uh, collaborate and, and combine those different skill sets. I think one of the things that's also really important is that it, it probably highlighted how siloed we are at the university and how we very rarely get out and speak to people outside our immediate bubbles and um, Mark's group and the other infrastructure groups and, and the different academics on campus, we're all doing so many different really interesting things and I think this whole process has really brought a lot of different perspectives and different actions together and that's been one of the most exciting parts and I can see so many opportunities now for my for my students that come out of seeing some of the things that are happening around campus. The, the campus biodiversity management plan has spun off from the sustainability strategy and it's really been a small grassroots um, approach to trying to develop a policy to bring us into line with a lot of the other major universities in Australia and also universities that we, we wish to emulate around the world. What it's given us a chance to do is really try and start thinking about targets for not only the Camperdown campus but the, the range of properties that the university engages with, looking at some of the things we can do to improve our local environments and all of those places. And it's probably been a great example of a, a, a grassroots spin-off that's just come out of conversations, organic conversations between people that hadn't um, really had those conversations before. One of the great things about the biodiversity um, management strategy is that it's brought together people from different parts of the university. So we've worked with people from the central operational services and the university infrastructure. The people that often have different incentives or different needs that they need to fulfil and it brings together some of the more difficult problems. I think that the tree management plan is going to play a big part in biodiversity on campus but also looking at the overall future design of the campus, the master planning of the open space, the open space strategy will, will obviously be aligned to the biodiversity plan. It will play a big part in future development on campus.